Okay, this one's going to be an interesting one. Hopefully it's going to be an A4 and we haven't got the... We had to clear that because my last demo's settings were in here. And yes, it, the auto clear would have kicked in if I had let it, but I just wanted to show you how to how to clear it and that's with that reset button once again which clears all the settings to the standard or the default mode so let's see how that goes and this one I think is an A4 which will be really really nice I don't know how we're going to make this one this one's really got no, it looks like a real piece of op art as you call it so we're just going to text enhance it I think I'm going to leave that out or maybe, maybe we need it to get the background colour looking good. We're going to make it negative positive. And the background colour we're going to use is going to be the cyan or blue. I think we're going to go blue. Cyan tends to come out wishy-washy for some reason. So we're going to make it blue. And we're going to have to... I don't know how the blue is going to come out with this. The hue. We're going to leave the hue alone. We're not touching that. We are going to leave it. What about some of the red? Little. We don't want red either. I'm trying to decide what we're going to use. Okay, so we're going to do something different. We're going to use the copy density and we're going to kill off the brightness because we're not using RGB, so we're going to use contrast. We're going to make this a contrasty image and the color balance. And the black's still going to stay in the usual place. So let's see how we go with this one. This one's a really nice one. I'm hoping it'll come up a treat. So it's called Time Out Sydney. I found this in the garbage bin. And you can say Secret Sydney. It's a funny looking thing. The back of it looks good. The mammoth looks good, but I like the front better, just a tad. So we've got A4 there, and it's an A4. So that's convenient size-wise. Let's see if image-wise we're going to make this look good. So we've got to press make three button push operations to make a photocopy. That's kind of a Minolta for you. So let's see how it goes. Out it comes. Let's see if we've made this an improvement. Whoa, it's very blue. You can still read Secret Sydney, but I think blue was the wrong colour because it's blending in with that. I made an error. Of judgment but at least you can still read that it's nice optical art so we're going to change things we're fucked up we fucked up but anyway that's okay that at least we can use either we're going to use cyan not cyan we're going to use magenta and we're going to do some fancy color adjustments so i'm wondering if we're going to use red or if we're going to use the hue so what what are we going to use? Come on, where are we going to? We're going to stay with the settings. We're going to stay with the status quo for now, except for that we're going to have magenta. So the magenta should contrast nicely with the... Oh, that's even worse. That's, that squeak is getting worse. It sounds terrible. And this machine's relatively new. I only had it for, like, if I remember correctly, six weeks. So that's not a terribly long time. But anyway, that looks quite interesting. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe we could just take out the background colour and just have the lovely blue and black waves. So we're just going to get rid of the background colour because it looks a bit wishy-washy and it doesn't go with the rest of the scheme. So we're just going to say no to background colour, switch it off. And we're just going to print this off. I think it'll look better and, you know, the contrast is up full blast and basically everything looks nice and contrasty. I think a white, having some white would go well with the blue. So let's see how it goes. 
So let's see if this is improvement. So yes, it's crisp. It's quite a crisp looking white. And then you got black and you got shades of blue and green. Tiny, looks almost yellowish, but it's just green. So let's just have a close look at this lovely original. I mean, co copy from the original. So you can see that's a nice crisp white. We used heaps of contrast. I think that's why we didn't get any background on there virtually. But you can see the optical art. You can see the word Secret Sydney, just if you can make it out. So there you have it. That's our, that's, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. You can see that even better now, the Secret Sydney. Yeah, fascinating.